Hey everyone, welcome back. Today I'll be showing you how to cheese Ryuma and solo him. This method is extremely easy. Most fruits can solo him. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe. It really helps me out. Thank you to Prez Ken for showing me how to do this method. Let's get straight into the video. All right, so the requirements for soloing Ryuma are, well, first of all, being in the second C and going to Thriller Bark. The next requirement you will need is observation haki. This is so that you can see Ryuma through the wall. And also having some fruit. Fruit you are able to do it with are Horo, Zushi, Gura, Suna, Goro, Mera, Kage, Magu, Hika, Yami, Tori, and Mochi. You might be able to use Gomu, Bomu, Hiei, and Ito, but I'm not sure about those ones. But the recommended fruit are Horo because you can use Soul Unbound, go in there and just spam the hell out of your M1s. Zushi because you can just spam meteorites and use your push. I don't recommend using pull just in case he actually goes to you and then beats you up. Goro because you can use your lightning dragon, your lightning wrath and your ultimate. Mera because you've got three out of four moves that can hit him from a far distance. The one that can't is flame pillar. Magu because you've got the magma fist, hound and rain that can hit him. And Pika because you got the light ray, the light kick, and your ult. So right now I will show you how to solo him. Turn on your haki just in case. You go over to these boxes right here, jump up there, and you hit him. Oh. Then you look straight into the box, and eventually, there we go. He teleported himself in, and once he's in the box, keep using Gepo because as you can see he's blocking. The moment you stop Gepoing is when he can teleport to you like that. So instead of doing that you're going to want to go back to the boxes, hit him, stand like this, there we go, he's in the box right now. Continue to Gepo outside, past these trees, over here and roughly in between these two trees right here. You can use your observation, if you have observation, to see where he is. He would be in between these two windows. Now because I've got Magu, I can use Magma Fist, Hound and Magma Rain. But when I use it, as you can see, he blocks. So a way to make sure he doesn't block is to either Gepo, or if you've got Roku Shiki, you can just press Q and do your Soru on the spot and he will block. As you can see when I Gepo, he blocks. And when I get down, he unblocks and can't block for another couple seconds. So you can just do that, make him block. As you can see, I didn't wait till he stopped blocking, so that one got blocked. He blocked, unblocked, then I'll use my move. He's blocking, unblocked, so I'll use my move. As you can see, you can just repeat this cycle until he is dead. This way, you won't die, and it's pretty fast as well. Alright, time to speed this up. This method is really good because Ryuma gets stuck in the boxes and cannot move. So if you use a move with lots of knockback, they won't get flung and you can just consistently use the move in the same spot. You can also train your Haki while doing this just occasionally pressing the J key on the keyboard when your Haki is full, letting it run down and recharge the game again and again, especially if your Haki is not max. Bruh, of course. Of course, Fo, you had to reboot the servers for an update while I was recording. But you could have seen that I got him very low just before it started uh, rebooting. This is a very viable strategy. If you enjoyed or found this video helpful, please like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to get notified when I make a new video. Thanks for watching, and see you all next time.